hear just to hear my intro. So uh, uh, for those who have gone in late, I think it'll be okay. Um, <laughs> welcome, welcome uh, to all of you lovely people. Um, uh, thank you so much for being here uh, uh, for our event with Katana Shetwind um, of Katana Comics fame for her new book, In Love and Pajamas, a collection of comics about being yourself together. My name is Evan Karp. I'm the events manager for Booksmith. We're an independent bookstore in a mainstay of San Francisco's Haight-Ashbury district since 1976. <laughs> I, and I know Katana doesn't need an introduction from me, but in case that you somehow walked into the wrong Zoom room, <laughs> here's what you need to know. Uh, Katana Shetwin is a self-taught traditional artist and the enthusiastic author of Katana Comics. She grew up in Saratoga Springs, New York, where she spent her time creating art and pursuing an education in psychology until accidentally stumbling into the world of comics. Uh, not only is her fiance John the daily inspiration for her drawings, but he was also the one who suggested a comic series about the relationship in the first place. Thanks to his idea and his inspiring daily antics, Katana was able to pursue her childhood dream of being a cartoonist. She currently lives on the East Coast with John and their tiny angry dog Murph. Um, <laughs> Katana, John, thank you both so much for being here tonight and um, uh, congratulations on In Love and Pajamas. Thank you, thank you for being with us. Yes, thank of you. course, thank you so much. Um, this is so exciting. I'm very distracted by looking at the <laughs> chat go. I'm not gonna lie. So, so look at the camera. I know. I'm still getting used to this. <laughs> yeah, I'll say that right now the camera is here, the chat is here. So I'm going to be very like doing this a lot tonight. I can already tell. I'll keep nudging there. Thank you. <laughs> um, so I do have like a couple of thank yous to give out, of course, before we like get down to the real business here. Um uh, the first thank you, of course, is to Booksmith for hosting the event. This is awesome. Um, and they've got a special place for us because, like in our heart, because they hosted us last year when we did an in-person event, oh. um, actually two days. So, yeah, right? I think so. Yeah, that was only a year ago. So insane. Um, so... And then I also want to say uh, thank you, of course, to you guys for taking time of, out of your day and joining us and ordering the book and just following us and being a part of our lives where we talk about you guys like we know you all the time. <laughs> like, I don't even know how to explain it, but you are very important to us. And we're very thankful for you. And then... Um, yeah, and then I, I always like to say thank you to John because I don't know what I'm doing with technology. I have no idea who she is, but John does, and he's got us hooked up with a quite the system over Have here. Running our cameras and everything. Yes, so cameraman can blame John. All on me. <laughs> I will. Um, yeah, so I think that's um, I think that's my whole spiel for that. Short and sweet. And then um, I'll also kind of tell you guys what we're about to do. Um, basically, we're going to have like a Q&A sesh and like chit chat with you guys. Uh, and at the same time as that's happening, I'm also going to take drawing requests and then I'm, I'm going to draw them and fill up this whole sheet of paper, hopefully with like doodles. So you can request something um, like a... Uh, Monkey in a top hat, or <laughs> somebody requested me with a stingray on my hand. John, so we already did John with a stingray on his hand for the last event. That had a whole backstory to it. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, any like little doodle thing that you think would be fun to have drawn on this piece of paper, we will. I'll draw it. Uh, I'm drawing in pencils today because I can't commit to drawing during a live event with a non-erasable <laughs> matter. It's a lot of pressure. <laughs> but, um, but I will be drawing in pencil, but after the event, I am going to go over it and look, make it look really nice with like real pens and um, all that jazz. And at the end of this, uh, one of the raffles will be for this doodle sheet. So you can win this doodle sheet. So make sure you're requesting things that would actually be fun to own <laughs> as a piece of art <laughs> um, or not. It's up to you guys. You can do whatever you want, really. So um, yeah, so that's the whole thing. Uh, like we talked about, the questions can go. There's another giveaway and, too, right? Did you talk about that? Oh, yeah. Saying? And we have something else to give away. We have a um, coveted. Oh. Katana Comics Influencer Box. 
very cool and very exclusive because I do not own one. Yeah, I literally don't have one. <laughs> I have no idea what it looks like. Well, I know what it looks like in person because I've seen pictures and videos, um, but it's like pink, it's very pink actually. It's got a print, it's got a mug, it's got a hot cocoa bomb, um, a book, sleep mask. Yeah, so, um, so that would be really fun when uh, there's like, items in there that are exclusive to the influencer <laughs> box so so we'll have the two raffles one for the drawing seat sheet one for the box and uh, we'll just randomly select winners there at the end um and yes did I get all of it now I think so okay <laughs> so I think I did it um also well we have no shortage of requests coming in it's Evan cool. again I'm disembodied by the way now everyone um so <laughs> I'm happy to start calling them out um, if you guys are ready or feel free to, uh, to, to pick. Yeah. Um, I am good. ready to start. Did you see any life shine? Do you want to have them read? Uh, I haven't seen yet. Let's see. All right. I'm going to switch over to your fancy drawing cam. Yep. Oh. Woo! Magic. Okay. <laughs> so All right. The, the, the first request is Sailor Moon. Can oh my gosh okay <laughs> one is that too tough? john's gonna have to look up a reference for me he's okay. over here also looking up she's got references. me pulling up some uh reference material <laughs> awesome oh, okay. because... so the next request is john without a beard whoa <laughs> you want to know what's funny is that will actually be very difficult because i have never seen john without facial hair it's funny we were actually just talking about that the other day yep i'm gonna need more sailor moon oh, okay. <laughs> <That's> a... <laughs> <laughs> um someone our friends keep um telling us like you can't marry john without seeing what his face looks like it's so, a fair point i never yeah. thought about it now it has me thinking that you should have, probably should go clean shaven at least for a little bit i'll do it when you least expect it all right do i want like a happy sailor moon or i like that one which one that one oh. yeah okay all right i'll start on sailor moon here and we can take a question whenever. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so this is a, a something of a request and also and also um, a question. Um, Winnie is wondering, uh, Will says, I hope we'll get to see your doggo tonight. And then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you absolutely will. He is he's, currently guarding the door to where we are right now. So he's kind of afraid of like the cameras and everything. So he's just in the doorway kind of staring at us. And yeah. to him, he just thinks we're talking to ourselves. So he keeps running in and is very confused. Right <laughs> <laughs> um, this, the, uh, there's a question also, which is, um, and, and please let me know if this is too personal, you guys, but um, how are wedding plans going in the pandemic? Well, like, it's a hard question to answer. They're not going, so. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> good, I don't know if the word is good or bad, but we haven't done anything because of the pandemic. We don't want to have to yeah. navigate it's we were lucky to, like, enough even to trying to like find a venue or any, anything right um, we were lucky enough to not have anything planned before the pandemic hit I know a lot of people did and then they had to make difficult decisions there and luckily for us we just hadn't started yet um so we still are riding that wave <laughs> of not starting yet <laughs> And it's kind of nice. I mean, we both kind of wanted to be engaged for a while anyway. So yeah, it's, you know, yeah, we'll get there eventually. No rush. Yeah. But. For, sure. for sure. Yeah. We, we had to cancel a lot of plans uh, for events that we had booked. That was kind of a mess. Um, yeah, I'm yeah. sure it cannot be easy. Uh. Um, so this is a question from Amber, who's wondering what was the very first comic of Katana and John? Oh, good question. It was actually, um, it was the mirror exposure effect comic and it was uh god how did it start um it was it was you describing the mirror exposure oh yeah yeah effect. it started with an explanation of the mirror exposure effect which is the idea that the more often you see someone the more often or the more likely you are to like them and then it was followed by some images of me just like following John around town. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding behind a mailbox and stuff. Yep. And um, and 
Yeah, that was the first comment. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. And then at the end, he was like, babe, we've been dating for a year. Right? I think so. Right? Yeah. God, it's been so long. It's yep. crazy. <laughs> so that was a long time ago. I think that was like four years ago now, which yeah. is insane. But it all started because I was telling John about the mere exposure effect that I had learned about that day in um, school in psychology. So. Yeah, it was kind of weird at the time. I didn't know you were like into comics and you enjoyed doing that as a kid or anything. Um, so I just, I don't know why, it just like sounded like kind of a cool comic idea. So I kind of just said it offhand and she's like, oh yeah, I can like whip that out, no problem. Yeah. And it kind of just took off from there. Yeah, that's right. I was telling John about the mirrors. Sorry, sorry if my story is very disjointed. It's hard to draw <laughs> hard and to talk at the same time. Um, uh, John, or I was telling John about the whole thing. And then he was like, that's funny. You should make a comic about that, which is so weird and random. And if it wasn't for that one co comment from John, then we wouldn't all be here today <laughs> doing this because I never would have just started doing this without that comment from him. So it's pretty cool and also kind of scary sometimes how something so small can change your life. But here we are, it's all because of that. Thank you, John. Hey. Well, there's another question about you. Um, about your relationship and how you guys how you guys met. Um, is that something that, that, uh, that you can tell us? Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually one of my favorite stories to tell. I feel like every time you start to tell us, I have to preface it by saying we each have our own side and I'll tell mine after my perspective of how we first met. <laughs> um, so from my perspective, John and I met on Tinder. <laughs> There's more to the story. That's not just, that's, <laughs> it's universally true, not just from perspective. <laughs> um, so it is possible to find someone on Tinder, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, so we met on, we started talking on Tinder and, um, and we had a couple messages back and forth. And then I kind of stopped answering because, um, it was Tinder and like, just wasn't that great at answering. I'm still not great at answering. It wasn't <laughs> anything like personal. Um, but then a couple weeks later, I was at the, I was at a bar with a couple of my friends and, John walks in. I've never met him in real life, but I knew it was him because I knew how tall he was. And here comes this man who's like, I always <laughs> am like, he's like a periscope above crowds <laughs> of people. So I want to talk to John because in my head, like we met on Tinder, we talked a couple times, this will be great. And um, so I spent the entire night trying to get his attention. So... <laughs> I'm staring at him. We're making like prolonged, awkward eye contact for like hours. We're in the same bar together, very hours, close. Hours. It was a for, it felt like forever. <laughs> and then um, at, like at one point, I literally was dancing like with my back up against John and he's still not saying anything to me. <laughs> so finally my friend comes over and she shoves me and pushes me onto John and then onto the floor and then and then john i'm on the floor now john turns around he like extends his hand out and i'm looking up at him and i'm like this is it this is like the moment he helps me up he looks at me and he just says sorry and then he turns back around <laughs> so then i had to be like hey are you for dinner or what <laughs> so having said all of that I like to clarify that from my perspective, I did want to talk to her, but I was there with my friend and he was like, that girl that like, keeps looking over here. I think she wants to like talk to you. And I recognized it. I was like, oh, that's the girl that like blew me off on Tinder. She absolutely does not want to talk to me right now in the middle of this bar. <laughs> <laughs> she probably doesn't want to see me at all. So I was just like, I don't know why she's staring at me. Sad. Well, it worked out. So <laughs> <laughs> it worked out in the end. Uh, pretty funny though. <laughs> there's a couple lessons you can take away from that. I don't know what they are, but there's gotta be some. <laughs> <laughs> got some good friends on both sides. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's super sweet. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Sailor Moon. I think I'm gonna cut her off there. Oh. You think so, John? Yeah, I think it looks good. Do you want okay. to uh, hold it up and I can do a big image of it okay sure one sec okay 
Here's our first drawing of the day, Sailor Moon. <laughs> she looks different from that angle. <laughs> cool. Nice. Um, right. So uh, ready for another uh, doodle request? Yes. Um, so this one is sweet. This is from Sarah and John. And um, Sarah says, my John and I like to draw ourselves as an owl, John, and a squirrel, Sarah, both with glasses. <laughs> but I'd like to see how you would draw an owl and squirrel in love. Oh, cute. Nice. Like that. I'm so curious as to what, what makes your animals squirrel and owl. Yeah, is there like a story behind that? <laughs> yeah, I'm fascinated. All right, so when I picture an owl, I picture the guy that says, how many licks does it take to get to the center of a lollipop? <laughs> I don't think that's very like, correct in nature, but I'm going to be drawing inspiration from that. You can yeah. draw however you want. Okay. I think owls have like one of those say, little mask things. I can the reference, but I feel like it's kind of cheating. What? Is that cheating? Okay. Uh, do you want a reference? Maybe. I only say this because when we are practicing doing doodles, I asked Katana to draw, I think it was an otter. Yeah. And I like was looking away doing something. I turned back and it was 100% a beaver. <laughs> They're very close though, are they not? I was like, maybe we should get some reference photos when people ask. Sad. <laughs> have you ever like, I don't know if there's any artists here, but have you ever um, tried to draw without a reference? Because it's very difficult. It's like you start to realize that you don't actually know how things look. Like if someone told you to draw like a hippo, do you know enough about a hippo from your memory to draw it? I mean, I can't draw at all anyways, so yeah. sure. <laughs> I'm doomed from the beginning. Uh, I I have um, plenty more questions, but I um, Sarah and John have have, uh, have answered your question a little. They said, um, uh, I think, I think Sarah's the squirrel. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I think she says, I've been a cave researcher and I was the small passage specialist. So my caving friends would send me in to map the hard parts and I could scramble around in there like a squirrel. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That's super cool. That's a super cool story. Um, uh, you guys are, I'm loving all of your requests in the chat. I'm going to do my best to get to as many of your requests as we can. Um, my <laughs> next, the next question is um, uh, from Brooke and Brooke is wondering, um, does inspiration from your comics come only from your relationship or other people's relationships as well? Um, I would say it's definitely mostly our relationship, but so like 80, 90 percent at least. Yeah. But sometimes what will happen is um, like our a friend will say like, oh, my God, I have like a comic idea for you and blah, blah, blah. And it will be something that we do. Right. So I'll make it a comic. It's just something I had never thought of making a comic about before. Um, so that that's happened actually quite a few times. So, so yes. I feel like the vast majority yes. are usually something like as it happens though. Like Tana always has her little notes app open, like taking notes on something I did or like something that just happened or yeah, <laughs> whatever absolutely. it is. That was I'm going to make the owl really derpy, just so everyone knows. <laughs> I was noticing that happening there. I like it. Thank you. OK, how's this? Yeah, I think Katana's favorite thing to do is draw derpy animals. Do owls have ears? They don't, right? Uh, the Tootsie Roll guy does. Huh, look at that. He does. I feel like they don't in real life, though. I think they're kind of hidden. Oh, OK. It's your owl, though. Feel. Feel free to draw them how you want. I'm not giving him ears. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Mr. Owl. Okay. Um, All right, I'm just going to draw a branch for these guys to sit on, and then I'm done with that. There's so many, there are so many top-notch requests. In this <laughs> <chat>. <laughs> okay. Um, so are, do you want another question, or do you want to, do you want to wait until you're done? I'll show this and then oh, yeah. I'll take a question and a oh, drawing at the same time. Oh, ready. sorry. There's our owl sorry, and squirrel. Yeah. Take it all the closer here. Yeah. Oh, okay. I got him. John's arms are longer. Which way does it go? Perfect. <laughs> cool. All right. Okay. So I'm just randomly scrolling through this chat. Let's see what else we can draw. There's like a bunch of. There's a bunch of Bernie Mittens requests. Yes! <laughs> oh my God, that's so funny because the other day I, I got on FaceTime right after our very first event 
And the my it was my mom, and she was like, I can't believe you didn't get any birdie requests. <laughs> <That's right. sitting laughs> <birdie." laughs> yeah, they're they're popping off here. Um, I feel like I could do a very simplistic version of that if you pull it up. You want a little reference? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm 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 trying to I'm trying to uh, to parse through. Um, <laughs> no, you're okay. <laughs> All right, where should he go? Maybe we'll give him like this section. All right, let's see. Maybe just move it over to the right a little oh, bit. Oh, sorry, everyone. <laughs> I'll try to keep an eye on it for you. Yeah. All right, so we're going to do it like at this angle. So um, I, we have another question. Cool. Which is um, <laughs> from Brittany, um, who wants to know, who is more like their comic persona, Katana, John, or Murph? Oh, <laughs> that is a good question that was gonna be tough but i feel like murph takes it if he's in the running there yeah <laughs> i think people think it's an exaggeration how much his tongue is out but it's literally out like 90 percent of the time oh absolutely and to the point that we both joke about it when he just looks normal we call him normal lips mo because his tongue isn't out <laughs> yeah he's got a very bad underbite so right underbite here or... yeah underbite yeah. um so his tongue just like pops out like all the time. It like, cause his mouth just like can't contain it. So yeah, I feel bad for him. He gets really bad breath no. because of it too. He so. gets really bad breath. He'll like fall asleep on you and his tongue comes out, but then it like dries on you. It's really gross, but <laughs> <laughs> he's so sweet though. He, you feel bad. As far as um the people characters though, what do you think, John? That's tough. I don't know that I could choose one over the other. I would say they're both really accurate. Yeah. Yeah. At least in my mind. Do you disagree? No, I definitely, I think so. I think we're pretty true to life, if anything. Yeah, I'm not even saying that as like a cop-out answer. I think they're both really accurate. Give them a little shiny head reflection there. <laughs> <laughs> so many little face details, I like it. Thank you. Get him all bundled up. Feel like it was pretty cold in this picture. Oh, I saw somebody's question. Does Murph have a favorite toy or treat? Yes. Oh, Murphy, you have so many questions. <laughs> right. I love some Murphy questions. Um, Murphy does have a favorite toy. He's definitely, right? I would say so. Would you agree that it's Mr. Koala? Yes, I would agree that it's Mr. <laughs> Koala. He has this one toy that he's had for years, I want to say at this point. And it's the only toy he won't destroy. Like he'll whip everything around and like tear it apart anything we give him except this one toy he like gently takes it out of his basket and like places it somewhere yeah it's so funny <laughs> okay the, the mittens are going on oh, we're making progress let's see i can grab some quick questions while you're drawing if you want yeah Ooh, what I can answer. Longest John's beard has ever been. Ah. Uh, surprisingly, not all that long. I like start to let it get longer and then I usually get really annoyed or like winter ends and it becomes summer and I always have to cut it back down. <laughs> so I feel like it's usually about this length, which probably people would assume it's longer based on the comics. I, mean, I don't make it long though. That's true. It's just dark. Yeah. Um, but fun fact, John did grow out his hair for I almost did, an I entire year head. because he was trying to get it cut. He didn't want to go in anywhere during this whole situation. So he was like, I'm just going to just gonna grow it up and see what happens. Yeah, it and seemed like a good time to try it. Yeah. Turns out same thing happened. It got really annoying and I couldn't stand it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Such is life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What are we thinking on Bernie here? How are my like Ooh, proportions? Looking good. Okay. I can't believe how quick you did that. Well, yeah. I'm not great at um like people, like drawing people, just so everyone is aware. Um, it doesn't actually change anything. I'll still draw people. I just don't <laughs> want your expectations of them to be too high. <laughs> okay. You want to hold it up? Yep. You think it's good enough? I think it looks really good. Okay, hold on. Let me just do some stripes on the mittens because they were very nicely. A nice pattern. Oh, very nice okay. There's Bernie. Yay. I wish I could get that. Amazing. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love it. Uh, 
All right. So I'm ready for both again. That's good timing. Oh my God, there's so many good ones. Truly, I'm like, I'm having a hard time, John. <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to give you a hand, but I can't decide either. <laughs> let me see, let me see. Okay. Backing up those mittens quick. Uh, anything? Found a question at least we could answer. Will we see any wedding related comics when wedding gets closer? Oh, I definitely think so. I have to imagine based on all the conversations I've had with people who have gotten married that this takes a lot of effort yeah. and frustration. <laughs> so going to be a heavy wedding focus there. Right. We were actually really excited to do a lot of uh, like wedding comics and everything. And then like everything happened and we couldn't plan anything. So it's kind right. of on pause, but they'll definitely right. be coming. Yeah. So it's I think funny. I have a request. Okay. Nice. Um, dog in a spaceship. Cool. Ooh. Love it. All right. Dog in a spaceship. Let's start with the you need a little reference. You know, I'm just going to draw the spaceship from my brain. I feel like I can handle a spaceship. <laughs> what was it that they had in a, the spaceship earlier this year? It was a plush of something. Elephant, maybe. Do you remember that for the space launch? I don't remember. Really? No. Huh. I'm sure someone will tell us. Okay. Uh, how about this for a question? Do you have a personal favorite comic? Yes. I know that's a that's a tough question. It is but yeah, tough. That's about <laughs> There's different like categories of favorite comics because like. Some of them are funny and some of them are sentimental. Some are just really accurate. Right. Um, if you want a little time, I would say, well, actually, she just made a comic like literally right before this. You haven't um, seen it yet. <laughs> so I guess I can't talk about it, but I think that actually might be my new favorite, honestly. Really? John, you're teasing everybody. I that. know. <laughs> <laughs> um, but before that, I think one of my favorites was the spicy food one. Um, there mm -hmm. is a ton of favorites it's hard to choose one but that one just has always been so accurate um, <laughs> the one where I have like a little bit of pepper and I put it on my food I'm like oh that's probably enough and Santa's like loading it up with hot sauce oh my god although I will say since that came out I've gotten a little bit better I can handle spicy food a little better yep. a tiny <laughs> a tiny bit better it's still kind of within the margin of error <laughs> <laughs> but you have I uh, I've been trying to tell John that it's, I think I've, from what I read, I think it's healthy for you to eat spicy food. So that's been my um, sales pitch to try to get him to eat more spicy food with me. I do enjoy it. I just gotta build up that tolerance. Yep, yep. Do you have a it. favorite comic or? Um, yes, it's so hard. I know. Uh, I was just going through them the other day and um, uh, looking for a good one that I could post to Instagram that ha hasn't been too recent or anything. And I was looking at the one from just a little earlier this year where I'm saying want some and trying to get John to try a bunch of things. And then I am like, want some? And I don't know. I was like, that's really cute. I'm <laughs> proud of that one. <laughs> <laughs> so I really like that one. Um, and I like the long distance one, even though we're not yeah. long distance. I just think it's sweet. Yeah. Um, there's a couple, but it's hard to say because I'm sure if I went through them, I'd be like, no, this one, no, this one, no, this one. Yeah. <laughs> um, another good question I saw from earlier. God, there's so many. I'm like, a, there's a backlog. Um, somebody asked, what inspired you to be a cartoonist? I don't know. I would guess. Um, just really loving cartoons when I was a kid. Um, I like loved um, comic strips. I loved Calvin and Hobbes, obviously. Um, I really liked to get fuzzy. Um, really liked Spy vs. Spy. Uh, there were a bunch of them and I just always really liked them. And then 
Um, my mom just showed me the other day, she sent me a picture, um, like when I was in fifth grade and they ask you what you want to be. And then they put it in the yearbook. I had put <laughs> cartoonist and I'm like, that's so freaking cool. Um, I just always really liked them. And I never would have really guessed that it was like something real that I could really be doing. So it's pretty cool that we're here and it's why I'm so sentimental <laughs> about <laughs> thanking you guys and all that jazz. So it's pretty crazy. It's it like, is. I wonder how many people like become whatever they said they wanted to be in their yearbook thing from being a kid. Right. And it's funny too, because I've seen some of your like comics and stuff you've made as a kid and not only are they really good, but they still have like that same kind of style with the big bubbly eyes. Uh huh. It's like clearly how you've drawn ever since you started drawing, which is funny. Um, let's see. Sorry, I'm getting distracted by my dog drawing. <laughs> Oh, he has a very serious face. He's scared. It's, He's in space. He's a dog. He doesn't understand. It's a business dog. He's, <laughs> he's going to do some work up on Mars. Okay. Good. <laughs> what do you think? Is he okay? Yeah. Do you want me to uh, switch it and you can show him? Yes. One sec. Going to put some buttons. I feel like spaceships need buttons. <laughs> okay. Dog in a spaceship. There he goes. <laughs> He's a little scared. <laughs> okay. <I like> it. <laughs> All right. So I'm ready for another question. Two again, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Three so this one. Do you do you have one, John, for the doodles? Uh, no, it's all you. I'm just scanning through. Yeah, I see. This might uh, require a reference, also, but um, I think uh, a Katana John version of Spy versus Spy. Oh, okay. All right, I'm already getting ideas reference? for this. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I know, but I want to make sure. Okay. I feel like you could do some cool stuff. Oh my God. That. Okay. Yeah. Can you enlarge that a little bit? This one? Yeah. Okay. That's a good request. I'm That's liking good. this. Like, this is a pretty diverse, like, spread of genres going <laughs> on here. So. That's awesome. This is basically Katana's dream. She's always asking me just like for ideas of things to draw or yep. just anything. Okay. So just rapid fire is like perfect. <laughs> All right, gonna block off this parcel of paper. Oh, make sure it's them. in the thing. Is it? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, ready for a question if we've got some. Yes, absolutely. Um, this is one that I'm partial to. Do you think you <laughs> do you think you'll stay a one dog family or give Murph a dog sibling? Uh, Ooh. so oh, it's so hard because Murphy really doesn't want a dog sibling, but uh. we really want to give him a dog sibling. Like he does not like other dogs. That is the hardest part. <laughs> He likes our undivided attention. He's yeah. perfectly happy with just us home with yeah. him. Nobody else. He doesn't want anyone taking attention away from him or us or anything. Yeah. But it's he's kind of weird too. Like he just kind of randomly picks dogs that he likes and some he like really loves. So it could, I think it would either be really good or really bad. And there's no way of knowing really. Right, right. Um, and I really love... I, I feel like it might be possible one day because I love senior dogs and I want to adopt a bunch of senior dogs and Murphy does the best with calm dogs mm -hmm. and that would be senior dogs. So it's possible. It it's true, is yeah. possible. Yeah, he doesn't do, <laughs> I remember the first time we boarded him somewhere for a long time when we were away. It might've been when the last book came out actually. And he got like a little report card back and it was like, Murphy's great. And he just doesn't do well with, what was it? It was worded really funny. It was like, he does not like puppies. Yeah. Like underlined or something. Yep. They figured that out day one. All right, let's see. Oh my God, I used to adore these cartoons, Spy vs. Spy. I had the video game. I was just talking about that with my brother. Does anyone play the Xbox game, um, Spy vs. Spy? Uh, yeah, I think it was called Spy vs. Spy. Like, was that popular? I don't really know. I used to play it on Nintendo. I think it was Nintendo, like the original. Ah. Maybe. Do you remember like the carnival map? I don't. 
Ah, oh, that was my favorite. <laughs> I have a question for John, um, which is, um, uh, John, how often does Katana steal your sweaters? <laughs> oh, all the time and then she makes fun of me for having like a million sweaters and she doesn't realize because i i need to at least guarantee that i have one available to me at all times oh come on <laughs> <laughs> gotta start like hiding them and everything oh that's sad well <laughs> i'm sure that my women out there that are watching know they don't make women's sweaters the way that they make men's sweaters they're not the same so it is true it blows my mind that like Yours are so thin and everything. Yep. All right. So this is going to be so, my spy. Can yeah, you guys yeah. see it? She's going to be wearing a nice dress. I'm going to give her like a flower up here. And then John's going to be way taller. <laughs> You're going to be way up here. <laughs> uh, it's funny, actually. I just saw a question that was asking something about that, about our actual height difference. Mm. So I'm 6'5". I'd say at mm. least 6'5". And I'm five one, five two. So it's actually pretty. A lot of people think it's exaggerated in the comics, but it's actually pretty, pretty big. <laughs> yeah, it's really funny. People are always commenting. They're like, "Why do you draw him so tall and you're so short?" And I'm like, <laughs> "I toned it down for the comics." <laughs> like our height difference is way more pronounced in real life. Definitely, it's pretty funny. So we pretty much, I realized the other day, we pretty much exclusively kiss when we're sitting down because it just <laughs> like true. can't happen when we're standing up. <laughs> or like if we're on the stairs, you're coming down, I'm going up or something. Right. <laughs> Opportunistically. Exactly. Someone, someone is suggesting hop kissing. <laughs> yeah. sounds dangerous, it does sound dangerous. <laughs> sounds like a way to lose some teeth <laughs> i feel like that would be a late night like uh news special yeah right <laughs> is your teen hop kissing is your teen hop <laughs> <laughs> oh, so God. so a few people are wondering what um if there are any tv shows that you're binging or really into um during the pandemic or in general Good question we've uh, gone through quite a few yeah the whole pandemic oh yeah uh what did we start with what do we start with? Maybe it's easier to work the other direction. Lately, we've been watching a lot of Curb Your Enthusiasm and Seinfeld, going a little more old yeah. school. Before um, that, man, I can't even remember. We were watching like a new full season of a show every week. Um, um, right. I just today watched the entire first season of Big Little Lies. So <laughs> <laughs> there's a very, like today in one day. I finished that. Oh, somebody reminded me of Tiger King. I can't even believe that oh was in, God. seems like a lifetime ago. It but does. yeah, we watched all of that. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, that's a whole situation. <laughs> <laughs> um, we watched a lot of really, like, dark shows. We like a lot of, like, murder mystery, like, <laughs> forensic file type things and that sort of stuff. Yeah, but, like, dramas, too. Like, dramas um, too, yeah. I'm trying to think. Ozark. Ozark is probably a top right. show. Um, Mine Hunter, of course, classic top show. Um, oh shoot, I just started drawing Katana Comics feet. <laughs> what do spy versus five feet look like? <laughs> okay, they just little boots. Okay. Um, so somebody is wondering how long it took you to develop your drawing style. Um you want to know what? I think I'm still developing it like right now. Um, every time I think like I'm, I feel good about it. I look back at art from like a month or two ago and I'm like, wow, that looks way different. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, and I'm sure like, I feel pretty confident right now in my art style, but I bet when I look back in a month, I will do the same thing. I'll be like, huh, I'm, I like it better now, so. I feel like most things, it kind of gets refined over time. Right. Um, and actually, along those lines, I just saw somebody asked about the mug that you can kind of see a little bit, which oh. is actually a good thing to show because that was like one of the first things that we, I don't know. They're not for it. sale. I made no. it myself on like Zazzle or something. <laughs> <laughs> like when the comics first started and you could see just like how different it was back oh then. yeah right you that totally was, can right that was like one of the very first things right versus like that right it's like not even close crazy 
right. I'm going to, oh, I'm going to give John Spy versus Spy a bow tie because he likes those. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's see. There's a little ruffle down here. Yay. Okay. We have Spy nice. versus Spy, John and Katana. I'll get rid of the wines here. Um, so as you can see, my spy is way shorter than John's spy. And like the dress and everything. Thank you. She's got a dress on. John has a bow tie and a button down shirt. <laughs> That's just lovely. look at that. Oh, I can hold it up. Nice. Where is it? Yay. Oh, I'm covering it. There we go. <laughs> That's really good. Thank you. So good. <laughs> okay. Um, oh, I so, really like this. Fred, this is awesome. Oh, so, I guess if they could see Mur Murphy, come here. <laughs> Sorry. Yes. Yes. No apologies here, for Mur. Come. We'll see if they'll be good. Come, come here. here. Come on. Come here. You just got to lift come them. On. You got to lift them. <laughs> You gotta just come lift on. him up. Come, come here. On. He can do it. No, he can't. He can do it. <laughs> He's the core strength buddy. Yes. Yay, here he is. Oh, there he is. Stuck in my, <laughs> in my shirt. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Yep, there's our tiny angry dog, Murph. Hi, Murph. Murph's getting yeah. lots of love in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, buddy. You have a star, buddy. Hi. He doesn't understand why it sounds like we're talking to people, but like there's no one here. It's very confusing for him. <laughs> oh boy. So I have another another doodle request, um, which is a great request. I think um, a cute plague doctor. A what? <laughs> like a plague doctor who's handsome oh, or cute. Doctor. Plague. Oh, who's like, cute? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm definitely gonna need a reference for that. <laughs> You know what's funny is I think that Spy versus Spy was um, based on the Plague Doctor mask, right? I think so, yeah. yeah. We have a theme going here. Oh my god, okay. Oh, there's actually oh, a cute plushy Plague Doctor that is. comes up when you search. I won't <laughs> copy that one though. I'm gonna make mine way rounder. Uh, which one do you want? I uh, like an actual Plague Doctor. It's like this that guy. guy. Yeah. Perfect. It's hardcore. Make sure it's on the. Oh yeah, thing. sorry. There you go. Can you just? Oh, sorry. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> cool. And we're whenever there's a question, we're good there. Great. Thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, this one is uh is for you, Katana. Um, do you have any? advice for um, somebody who is um, very new to digital art? Um, yeah, I'm sure I do. I wonder what um, program you're using. Oh, no, Mark's getting upset. No, I'd see something out the window. Okay. <laughs> um, I use Procreate when I draw. Um, and I am like, this is like a hashtag not sponsored, but I am <laughs> like, under the belief that procreate will one day be like the photoshop of digital art so i highly recommend it if that's not what you're using but if it is then uh something that i think is important to know about procreate is that um there's like a thousand things that are hidden like things you would never guess i it's just very, like, gesture heavy right? it's extremely gesture heavy I am one of those people, I do not like tutorials. I don't like them. <laughs> I want to just do it for myself, which is silly because I could learn how to do it a lot faster if I just watched a tutorial. And so for Procreate, I recommend watching some tutorials. Just if you search for like hidden tricks and tips on Procreate, you'll find things that like you had no idea that you could do. I just found out how to do a clipping mask like four weeks ago, <laughs> which has made my life, like I can't even describe how much easier it's made my life, which is ridiculous. I should have just looked this up and I didn't. So um, definitely just like, if you're like me 
and you have to swallow your pride, swallow your pride. If you're not like <laughs> me and you're a normal person that doesn't have to do that because you shouldn't have to, then like just look up all the videos you can, especially for Procreate. You'll find so many things. Yeah, it's really powerful. Yeah. It's only like 10 bucks, 15 bucks. Yeah. I think for the record, clipping mask is two finger swipe on the wire. <laughs> like that's how ugh, it's just hard. Also, mm-hmm. I'm missing my plague doctor. I don't see him. Oh, he's good. He's right there. No, I, I don't see him on the screen. I don't know what they look like. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Um, I had the chat pulled up because I actually saw a question that reminded me of something. Somebody asked um, if we remember our first autograph request. I was curious oh. if you remember. Um, no, I don't. You don't? Do you? I'm pretty sure it was in New York City. Oh, like the first time someone asked yeah, us? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, yes, definitely. It was in New York, right? Yeah, at a hotel, right? Was that the first one, though? I think so. Okay. I remember all of them, for the record, because it actually doesn't happen that much. <laughs> yeah, it happens very rarely. <laughs> like, we sign a lot of signatures at events and stuff, but for... Um, but just, like, walking around the street we don't get too much because we have kind of like that one layer removed where Mm -hmm. people might not know what we look like because you kind of have to like look it up or attend an event or something so um it was funny though we I think we just came we came back like kind of late from somewhere um and the guy just he was at the counter and just like said hi to us and then kind of like he kind of like pulled this sheet out and he's like uh, I have a question for you. Like, would you mind signing this? And we both, we like both were so caught off guard. We're like, what, what does he mean? And they, were like, and they were like, oh, oh my God. He actually, he had like a comic ready. We were just like so awkward about it because like it had never happened and we weren't expecting it at all. And I, I still remember the poor guy. He was so nice. And he was like, uh, I I asked, I was like, do you want me to sign this to somebody? And he was like, yeah, can you sign it to my girlfriend? Like her name is blah, blah, blah. And then I, I sat there and I was like, why did I just ask that? I've never done this before. I have no idea <laughs> <laughs> what like the appropriate thing is to say in this situation. <laughs> so I totally backed myself into a hole there. I have no idea what I said. I'm positive. It was like probably painfully awkward because I had I never done it before. And- <laughs> it's just... <laughs> but yeah that was really good um I think one of my favorite semi-related stories was um actually checking into a hotel somewhere and the woman at the counter like was asking for our IDs and everything this is in Chicago yeah yeah and she took Katana's ID with a very unique name Katana Jetwin and said you know like thank you and handed it back and everything and then took mine and like looked up and she's like John from Katana Comics and I was I was like, how do you recognize John, but not Katana? And then it, like the light bulb went off and she's like, and you're Katana. <laughs> that was so funny. Uh, we love Chicago. That was our first time there. Um, it was so much fun. That was a ton of fun. Yeah. Yeah, right. I think I'm done with my cute plague doctor. Wow, he's, he's amazing. Like, mostly an egg. You got to hold him up. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I don't know if it's better holding it up or... Uh, there he is. <laughs> He's awesome. Right next to his best friend, Sailor Moon and the Owl. <laughs> okay, so another doodle request. Cool. Um, lobsters holding hands. Oh, cute. <laughs> All right. I am going to have to see a lobster picture. I'm going to cartoonize it. I like that Murph is just standing here also. Hi, buddy. Hi. Okay. Which one do you like? Any of them. I just need to know, like, what they look like in general. (laughs) I'm not going to, (laughs) like... Okay. Let's see. Oh, I almost fell. Sorry, bud. (laughs) I was was scared. It's okay. Murphy loves climbing on things and balancing on things, but he hasn't realized that he's terrible at it. He has the worst balance of any dog I've ever seen. Oh, yeah. When you're just holding him in your lap, you can feel him constantly shifting his weight and trying to balance. Poor Kai. He's a special boy. (laughs) 
Mm, no, that's either creepy. I'll try again. It's my drawn pencil. Okay, so this might be a difficult question. Okay. Um, how do you, maybe it's easy. How do you decide what parts of your relationship to put into comics and what parts to keep private? Um, that is a good question. I don't know as though we really pretty, like- Pretty much all in there, yeah. Yeah, I don't think we've ever had a situation where uh, I wanted to draw something and John said like, that might be too much or anything, right? Can't think of anything now. We really feel like you guys have always been so kind to the comics. Um, even at points where I was like, this is it. This is the one where people are gonna say, what the heck, <laughs> this is weird. But that moment has not yet come. You guys have always been very like, awesome even if it is something that you don't like personally relate to um and we like I said earlier we really think of you guys as like our friends so I feel like we're pretty open with everything I don't know as though I mean obviously to like a certain degree but like we really I don't know we're not like too scared to tell you guys anything because you guys yeah. are always really nice <laughs> <laughs> i feel like at first maybe once in a while you're like oh i don't know if anyone's gonna relate to this or not um, yeah but then like you would put something like a little weirder out there and there's tons of people like oh we do that too so then right. the next time you're like well there's probably gonna be someone that relates to that and right i feel like now it's just led to the point where it's like there's gonna be someone that relates to this other people probably do this right um my biggest like call back to that is the comic where I don't know if you guys remember this one um where I come up to John and I flip my hair over top of his head <laughs> yeah. and just like laugh and um I didn't think anyone else did that and I was very pleasantly surprised when I found out that they did so <laughs> you guys make it pretty easy which is awesome Okay, these lobsters are pretty cute. I'm not gonna lie. They're pretty awesome. <laughs> Thank I was you. Say that. <laughs> and this is my first time ever drawing a lobster, so <laughs> exciting stuff. Well, this this is a related question that just came in. Um, will you ever sell or publish a book of your other drawings? Do you think? I don't know. I really hope so. I um, I love to draw, and I draw all the time, and um, and I do a lot of stuff I, I don't know like uh what the book would be <laughs> you've been doing a lot of really cool um I don't know what the word for it would be like not line like, guys like just ink I get like really fine ink. Uh -huh, like with a micron pen yeah like architectural type drawings usually uh-huh I feel like it'd be really cool to have a book of that I don't know um yeah, I don't know how that works though like does there have to be a story yeah, I don't, can I, don't I make either. it a story I don't know <laughs> Um, so I don't know, I don't have any like plans to, but would I like to? Absolutely. I think that would be super fun. I'm, so I just saw a question come through asking, is it awkward for John's family, uh, when you draw comics about how much you love his butt? Yes. <laughs> uh, it's funny. I was actually going to say that like just two questions ago and someone <laughs> asked, what do we, is there anything like we don't post? There was a time when that did kind of happen. It wasn't don't post butt comics, more so just uh, like my grandma reads these, maybe <laughs> tone it back a little bit on the butt comics. Oh, that's great. <laughs> there were a lot coming out like at once for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Heavy on the butt comics. Uh, Murphy's just holding his head down under the table. You want to know what? His lobsters kind of look like um, spiders. Right? Do you think so? <laughs> I mean, I guess a little bit. Well, I don't know. I'm just drawing one. It kind of feels like I'm drawing a spider. Okay. Give him a little heart. Nice. Yeah. They right. look very and sweet. In love. Here they are. Aww. Cool. And what time is it? I can take one more. Would you want to do one more drawing slash question? And then yeah. we can do our raffles or two raffles yeah cool good. all right that's good because we're running out of space too Murphy's very interested in what you're doing okay um let's see 
<laughs> I think um, there's been a request for a cat wearing a cowboy hat saying meowdy, like howdy, but meowdy. <laughs> oh my God. Awesome. How is that not like a brand for something? That should right. be like a mascot. I'm like angry. I've never thought of that before. Meowdy. <laughs> meowdy. All right. Are we thinking like here or here? What do you think? Um, hmm. Be on the right. Right here? Yeah. Okay. I want to see the meowdy cat next to Bernie. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And another question you said? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Um, so if you were um, an animal, what animal would you be? Oh, Ooh. good question. This is the kind of question I ask John when he's very tired in the middle of the night. She loves these kind of hypothetical questions yep. or you know, anything like that. But she always asks me at like three in the morning when I'm like half asleep, she'll like wake me up and ask me, <laughs> like, just go to sleep, dear. Um, can you just pull up a cowboy hat for oh, me? Yes, I forget what cowboy hats look like. I'm going to draw like a fedora on accident. Gotcha. I would probably be a bird. I love birds. You're very serene. Yeah. <laughs> so it's like, you know, they get to see so much. Yeah. It'd be awesome. You can fly around. Um, what would I be? Oh, you want a cowboy hat? Sorry, I just for cowboy <laughs> probably, probably not helpful. Mm, they were wearing cowboy hats. It's fine. Yeah, what would your animal be? Um, um, probably something kind of lazy. Probably like, I don't know. You probably know me better than I know me. You're like, you have to decide what you want to be. This hat is off center. <laughs> Do you see that somebody said I would be an albatross with my long arms or an ostrich? Which <laughs> is very accurate. <laughs> um, People I suggested myself... koala. Yes, koala would be good. I could see you being a koala. Except I I know that I don't get have any say in what animal I would most likely be, but do you guys ever see the planet Earth thing where the koala has to go down to get food and it's really sad? No, that's all I can think of when I think of koalas. Really? I don't, yeah. I don't think I remember that. They can't go very fast, so he, he doesn't have a good time. <laughs> he doesn't have a good time. Yeah. <laughs> um or a cat i was thinking a cat because mm. they just kind of like sit in the sun but they also have like business to do like they can't really be bothered with you but like sometimes they're like <laughs> that's not you though maybe not it depends on the cat like um like uh it does depend on the cat lydia's cat mm. it could be that yeah oh murphy almost went down <laughs> all right finishing up my cat here <laughs> the hat is a little crooked but we're all just gonna have to deal with that and his eyes are gonna be a little scary by choice they want them to be that by way choice interesting yeah do we have time for another question sure yeah, yeah. it's this taking a, me longer than i thought this is a very sweet one which is um uh katana and john what are your favorite things about one another oh that is a good one you should go first. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> I always have a really difficult time answering that. I feel like there's so many amazing things I like about you. And uh, yeah, it's tough to like, I'm always, I'm really bad at choosing like one thing, like a favorite thing or anything like that. Um, but I guess if I had to say one thing, <laughs> I would say probably just how kind and considerate you are. I feel like you're always thinking of other people and like, you're just always like, yeah, I don't know, like thinking of other people and making sure like everyone else is like happy or comfortable or like anytime you see like anything with like a dog that needs to be adopted, you're like, John, we need to adopt this dog. Like, <laughs> anytime there's like any sort of fundraiser, you're like we have to like donate to this or like, I feel like you're just constantly concerned with other people and that's really nice. Oh, thank you. Um, my favorite thing about John is that um, he's very like um, very like calm and well thought out in a way that I just could never be. 
and he's you're just very good at making people and me not freak out all the time um yeah seriously (laughs) like every time I feel like extremely stressed out or worried or like Mm. everything is oh god um John is always there to like make me take a deep breath and have me take a step back he's very good at like just being that kind of person and something I really appreciate, especially because I'm so not that kind of person. So thank Thanks. you, John. Aww. What do you think about that? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> oh, right, Meowdy. Uh, move to the right a little bit. So. Oh. There you go. All right, this is one freaky cowboy cat. He is kind of weird, more weird than I thought he would be. One second. There he is. <laughs> I love him. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Nice. I might fix his ears after this event. <laughs> <They're> <laughs> kind of bad. Uh, oh. All right. Um, well, this is a pretty good I really set like of that. drawings. Yeah. yeah. It's a good collection. I'm pretty happy with it. I think Bernie's my favorite. Oh, definitely. Though these came out a lot cuter than I, I initially thought. So. I like the lobsters looking at each other. Yeah. Their eyes are. <laughs> <laughs> um, do we want to do the giveaways? You think? Sure. Yeah, I, I have numbers. Um, I, I have winners. Um, but uh, but which what should we do first? Should we do the the draw the doodle sheet? Yeah, let's do the doodle sheet first. Okay. Um, do you guys want to give me a little drum roll? You don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> quick question first. Yes, yeah. But quick question first. Do the um do the viewers know what their numbers are? No, no. I'm, okay. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna say the name. I. I yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, okay, so, okay. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, so. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yes. So the the, the the winner of the drawings is is Ellen Kim. Congratulations, Ellen. Yay! Congratulations. Congratulations. And then for the gift box. Gift box. I can't do a drum roll. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, because it would be an extended drum roll. Hold on a second. <laughs> My spreadsheet is quite large. Okay. Um, and the winner of the gift box is Natalie Tran. Congratulations, Ooh, Natalie. Yay, congratulations. congratulations. That's awesome. <laughs> Very oh, jealous. I know, right? <laughs> Tell us how it is. We haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yep. Specifically the hot cocoa bomb. <laughs> oh, I think I think we need to we need to talk to uh, Andrews McNeil and get you guys a gift box. Johnny, yeah, Jenna, right? right? <laughs> That's the other thing too. Oh yeah, and then I um, of course, there's always something I almost forget. But wait, there's more. But wait, <laughs> there is more somewhere in this sketchbook. John and I did something pretty cool a couple of days ago, and we haven't really told anybody, so we're doing it on the live stream first, since you guys are here and awesome. Uh, we got a phone number specifically, so oh, you guys. Sorry specifically so you guys could text us so you can text us now so if you ever have any comic ideas or um you just want to like say hi or you want to get a picture of murphy get a picture of murphy (laughs) then you can text us and it's like free it's not like some weird thing or anything like that um we test they'll just send you a link and you just have to like agree to whatever their thing is but then it's you know free and everything yeah Yeah. but it comes right to my phone and we can text you like a real text message and answer you and it's just kind of a cool way to get to talk to you guys like a little bit more officially than like an instagram dm or anything like that i feel like after our last virtual event there are a lot of requests for murphy pictures so we had a little photo shoot with him sent out quite a few of those so (laughs) yeah so obviously like if you have texting i feel like everyone does nowadays right. so but i have to throw that out there <laughs> yeah something kind of cool we're trying out so yeah feel free to shoot us a text yeah um and it yeah i think that's it from our end yeah Murph, do you have uh, <laughs> i don't think so <laughs> but thank you so much for having us here tonight and to all you guys this is super awesome so much oh thank you thank you. thank you guys so much for being here i'm gonna i'm gonna gallery so hi um hi everybody and um thank you thank you katana and john um and murph so much for being here with us tonight um this has been really really lovely and um and of course thank you all so much for being here um uh take care and, and be well and um yeah hopefully we can we can meet for the next book um at booksmith again 
Um, but oh, yeah. Thank you guys so um, much. Yeah, absolutely. This was a ton of fun. Thank you guys. We'll take care and we'll, we'll see you on the internet and, and call and text you now. That's such a sweet idea. Yeah, yeah I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Uh, well, it's so nice to spend the night with you guys. Thank you for being here and congratulations yeah. on In Love and Pajamas. Thank yeah, you so thank much. you guys. Thank I you hope guys everybody enjoys us. your books too. Yeah. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you so much. Good night. Thank you guys.